Well, time has gone by since the last video that I've made with my new friend who has only known me since this time of my life. <laughs> and, um, so yeah, since then, since coming out to you as transgender, I mean, has that been at all something that enters your mind at times? And if so, when does it enter your mind? Does it enter my mind? Yeah, I mean, I, like, I think of, I consider it at times when I think about, like, like, I don't think of you as transgendered, really, mm -hmm. so when I, like, if it does cross my mind, like, um, at times it might cross my mind, I was like, like the, and you're talking about your past, yeah. probably. Like, okay, so when I'm talking about the past, then part of you has to, like, switch and be like, oh, but in that story, most likely it was more like this, is that what you mean? Like, I guess I was, like, more like, how did you... Like, how you relate to yourself, mm -hmm. like, what, like, what different circumstances you had to deal with then that I don't see you dealing with now because of your transition. I just wonder, I guess, like, there's so much to, like, know okay, that, so, that is, like, yeah. So you have more curiosity. Mm -hmm. But uh, it just, you kind of just wait for it to naturally trickle out. You're not like, I'm not good. I don't feel like answer or asking a ton of questions, but sometimes I do have a ton of questions. What do, now that I have this knowledge, do I think of it yet? I, it comes into my mind and that's the way it does. Like, oh, you know, like, I sometimes wonder, like, how Forrest related to himself differently mm -hmm. then, or like what his transition was like long term wise, or like, mm -hmm. You know, like, what's this journey been like for Forrest, you know? <laughs> yeah. And, um, but usually, like, when we talk, I don't even feel like that's, because it just comes out kind of naturally. Mm hmm In, like, more, like, abstract ways, like, we just are very direct, uh, talk about our feelings and stuff like that, so that's, mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, as a precursor, you know, this, this video is like a follow-up video to one that we filmed before, which was sort of my moment of coming out to my friend here, and, and so now time has gone by, and this is, this is where it's taken us. And the thing that touches my heart is that you really don't think about it on a conscious level all the time, and you don't, you know, one thing I worry about is like, oh no, if I tell people this, are they going to take me less serious as a man, or are they going to deny that that I understand what it, you know, what being a man is about because, because the way I feel is that of course I do and I always have but because of the, the way I was born, <laughs> you know, people take that knowledge away from me or that, you know, they take away my manhood basically mm -hmm. is what it feels like. So, so would you say that that fear that I have is kind of one that I shouldn't focus on because it's not true? <laughs> um. Now I guess you shouldn't worry about um, your manhood um, being like um, jeopardized by others. Mm -hmm. uh, from I guess the main reason is because it's yours. Mm -hmm. Nobody can take that away from you. Um, and but like in a social sphere, like it. What do you think? I mean, what do you think socially? <laughs> I don't know, because it's, it's a fear that I think most transgender people have, yeah, yeah. you know, be it trans men or trans women, like if we talk about this part of ourselves, are uh, people who are not born like this going to think like, oh, well, they're not all the way real, or like, mm -hmm. they don't really understand what I'm experiencing, what I'm going through, because they're like that. Yeah, exactly. So, so of course, you know, on the inside, I can be like, whatever everybody thinks doesn't matter, but, but do you... Like, I guess what I'm looking for from your perspective, uh, do you think maybe it's kind of an illusion of the transgender people to have this insecurity because most people don't judge us that strongly, or...? Okay, yeah, I mean, I think, um, I think people do, um, have those kinds of, um, like, pretenses about things that they're not, you know, they have no idea about, um, mm -hmm. and of course from their perspective they might think that that's true, but... Um, and so in a way, I mean, like, yeah, it's okay to be guarded and protect yourself from that kind of, like, aggression and ignorance. Mm -hmm. Um, but at the same time, like, from my perspective, um, I'm, I think it's great that someone would have the heart and 
guts to um, come out. I mean, I think that's important for anyone, no matter what you're doing. You know, mm -hmm. you just got to be upfront, and so in that way, you create more change and give people an opportunity to see you as you see yourself, as opposed to the you know the other option, which you know is just you know a type a tight rope walk that you have to do in life. Mm -hmm. So, you know, mm -hmm. I think. It's not an easy answer to say, like, you know, yeah, I might be really accepting, mm -hmm. but there are other people who are, you know, violent and aggressive and um, wouldn't be as nice about things and stuff as some, some other people. So you're just saying, like, you have compassion for these insecurities and mm -hmm. feelings and you understand their place. And I also encourage people mm -hmm. to, um, you know, stand by what they believe about themselves to a fault, like to its end, mm -hmm. even even if you find new things about it that you didn't realize before, you had to you know can be confronted by some serious mm -hmm. stuff. You know, protect yourself, but also you know know that there is compassion out there. That you know, I I think the thing that is like I took away my takeaway. Yeah, yeah you too. <laughs> would be like uh, you know. Uh, you're just unifying all of our problems. I don't see any difference. I just see that we, like, there's, we have, you're a human and I'm a human. Yeah. And that, like, other people with pro different types of problems are humans as well. Yeah. And that's, and there's a common struggle in trying to be on this planet. Yeah, so. unity. Unity, the human race. And so just another shade of that, I guess. Yeah, just another story in the human story. Mm-hmm.